Hi, my name is Natalia. I'm a designer and developer of luxury leather goods from UK. I'm originally Ukrainian, but I've lived and worked and studied all around the world, ranging from China to Africa. At the moment, I live in the middle of countryside with sheep and cows all around me and hardly any people. Um, most of my experience uh, to this day is in um, product development, pattern cutting, sampling and design of high-end leather goods. I have specifically chosen to go this path in order to become a better designer in the long run. So I know the product inside out, from how it is constructed to how it is pattern cut to how it is afterwards manufactured. And I have found this experience very useful right now in um, me designing a product because I know exactly when and how it's gonna go wrong and why. Um, I am not a sneakerhead. I have only recently discovered the world of sneakers and um, the reason I'm very interested in this course is um, in terms of uh, market for ladies wear like fashion um, sneakers, I would say. There are a lot of possibilities and opportunities to make a very exciting product that is commercial and very innovative and funky at the same time. And I feel that in the market of bags and in the market of traditional shoes, there are less possibilities to be very creative and very wild, but still produce a product that don't just go on a catwalk, but actually goes to the shops and is sold. But with sneakers, you can really make an impact. Um, in terms of my inspiration and reference points, I really like the work of Ray Kavakubo, Martin Margiela and Rick Owens. I do not like uh, specifically their um, style, but I like how they fuse different elements together, how they play with shape and construction in a very unexpected way. But the outcome is very desirable, timeless, and always feels very fresh, exciting and relevant. I really respect them for that and I would like to achieve that in my work in the long run. Um, in terms of references outside of fashion, I really like work of Karim Rashid and Niki de saint Fier because they fuse very playful aesthetic in their work and very kind of childlike sometimes. There's lots of color, there's lots of very funky shapes, but it is very convincing and it is very exciting and it entices you into their world. I also really like, uh, for the same reasons, traditional arts and crafts and folklore, especially anime and fairy tales from around the world. And I always like to create a story in my work uh, whenever I have a creative freedom to do so. That's it. <laughs> um, thank you very much for your time and bye.